<laughs> I, I want to bring Kay Lee up here because you know what? We're getting real close to election time. We are two weeks out from an election. Some of you guys are what? What? Wow, never even see that coming. Yeah, there's an election coming up in two weeks. And what everybody is pressing on you, of course, over and over and over again, is you have a civic duty. And that is to vote. Vote, vote, anywhere you turn. Vote, commercials, vote, buttons, vote, 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 vote. Kay Lee here says, nope, not going to do it. Never have. Not doing it this time. And I would really, and I have heard people say I'm not voting, but I have never really heard the reason why. So... If your reason is no, 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 doesn't matter what the reason is. One eight five five Bircha. So yeah, um, as we come upon this epic election, as everybody is um, deeming it, I just, I guess when I was eighteen, the reason I didn't vote was probably out of pure laziness. Like I don't want to do jury duty, so <laughs> I'm not going to vote. Okay, so you know, but I was eighteen. I ain't even coming down on you. That's yeah. an eighteen-year-old's attitude, Absolutely. right there. You don't understand what your responsibility is, right? And at that point, I am not paying any attention to the world around me except my personal world. So, like, you know, I'm not watching the news. I don't. I'm not dealing with any of that. So, I don't really. I'm not knowledgeable on any of the candidates. It must not be happening because I'm not seeing it on TV. Absolutely. Why do I need to vote? <laughs> Absolutely. Now, when okay. I was when I was 18, um, there was no social media. Uh, I don't think there was any social media then. Um, so it wasn't, you know, in my face sure. as much. Um, but then as the years, you know, moved on, I just, I don't trust any of them. I don't think any of them have my best interests at you know, on their minds whatsoever. Well, so, how how do you know that if you haven't done any research and you don't watch the news? Well, I do now. And, oh, okay. So well, this you, is, you know, present day. Okay. Like, my reasoning for not voting is, you know, I don't trust any of these fools, to be honest with you. I don't like any of them. I never have. As, mm-hmm. as I got older and started, you know, paying attention, I was just like... These guys are full of it. <laughs> they're, they're interested in their own holding on to their own power and moving their own agendas. And I just I just I'm not going to cast my vote for any party. Mm-hmm. Yes, Davi. Are you so when you say you don't trust any of these fools, are you just talking about the presidential election or are you also saying like all of your local representatives are fools as well? Like, do you pay attention to your you have children? Mm. So you said, I only care about what affects me personally. Well, and there are a then. lot, a lot of things that affect you personally, like like your kids and schooling and a pandemic. Did you want your kids to go back to school? Was it too early? Was it too late? Like all of these things affect you. So have you voted at least in local elections? Nope. And there are amendments on there also that will change the state that you're living in. But that, well, go ahead. I'm sorry. The local elections, I have have very rarely paid too much attention to, to be honest with you. Um, um, I don't know. Just off my radar, I guess. I just don't really pay attention to the local um, to the local voting. I don't know for the I guess for your senators and stuff. I just it's the bigger stuff that. um you know, so in your face, I guess, except for seeing John Ossoff on my TV every <laughs> five seconds. And by the way, I don't know what it is. We don't ever discuss John Ossoff or any of those local candidates. But every time my kid sees him, my eight year old's like, that dude is the devil. That's, that's <laughs> oh, what he God. says. And I'm like, <laughs> me and, my and, wife. It, <laughs> and you can ask him why. What are his policies? What do you hate about his policies, Kai? It's none of that. It's because John Ossoff videos and ads are playing before like every children's YouTube video. Oh, is that and, right? Yeah, like, it, it. I don't know if it's being targeted to younger demographics on purpose, but it's happening. So, like, kids really hate John Ossoff. <laughs> and, and, and it's not even his fault. It's just because they're waiting for Teletubbies. And John Ossoff <laughs> needs 30 seconds. And I think David Perdue has, like, in one of his ads, has, like, this angry photo of John Ossoff yelling, and it just looks like <laughs> he's the devil. So, like, Your every time my kids... He's the devil. Yeah. Kristen. All right, so I just want to point something out here. You don't trust any of them. And I Not get really. that. And, and Bert has said there's never going to be the perfect candidate that ticks every single box. You just have to find the one that fits your needs as closely as possible. Somebody has to be president, right? Yeah, of course. So I feel there is a responsibility and an obligation to do research and find the person who as closely aligns to your belief system and, you know, the 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 issues that are important to you. Also, something else I want to point out. This sounds extremely privileged to me because if you were a person of color or if you were a woman, 
you don't have really the option not to vote because we're so deeply affected by the people who are in charge right now. So I feel like as a white man, you can say that because you can continue to live your life as is because you're not being as affected as minorities. I want to get this to this call from Doug here who wants to be on The Voice Disguise. There's 38. Never voted. Doug. What's up, bud? You tell me. What's going on? Oh, nothing, man. I just think the president, just the, the whole thing is all a bunch of BS, man. The president and the stuff is just a bunch of BS. Um, What do you mean? The government runs it. The president is just the fall boy. He's the one that the government messes up. He gets paid to take the fall. So, so it don't really matter what president we have. So, you know, I mean, he ain't going to make no difference on anything. But like Kristen and Davi have said here this morning that, you know, the election is more than just about president, right? Yeah, still, still BS to me. Okay. Still a bunch of just news BS, you know, just a bunch of hype. Okay. Davi. I don't think we were going to get a lot of information from that call. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I do want to <laughs> ask because, like, like Kaylee said, he doesn't trust any of these fools. So I want to know. Uh, one thing about each candidate, I want to know what Biden has done, what Trump has done, and what the Independent Party candidate, which I don't even know who it is, has done. Like, Because you can vote for independent. There's libertarians running for president. There's all kinds of people. So like, what have these fools in the hot seat done that you don't trust them for? One from each, I, please. I, well, <laughs> I mean, there's probably a list. Um, but I just... I think they all have their own agenda. They're just trying to hold on to power. And it's the the idea now of electing somebody. And and it is the way the United States is set up. But the idea of electing somebody to make decisions on my life, I I just would rather stay out of it. But it's your life. They're making decisions for your life. But either one... Is either one, it's just the lesser of two evils. And that's why local that's why local elections are so important because your senators are super hands on with passing policy. So for me, voting for my senators was just as important mm-hmm. as voting for who's gonna be president. This is the statement that made so much sense to me a couple of weeks ago when I saw it and makes more sense to me as we get closer to the election and I hear uh, I hear statements like Kay Lee's voting isn't marriage, it's public transport. You're not waiting for the one <clears throat> who's absolutely perfect. You're getting the bus. And if there isn't one to your destination, you don't not travel. You take the one going closest. And I loved that a couple of weeks ago. The Bird Show.